fewer cars on the roads, officials are pushing projects forward faster. That includes one of the biggest construction projects, the rail line along Dillingham Boulevard. Sarah Madison has more. Ed Sniffen from the State Transportation Department tells us they're seeing about 48% less traffic on the freeways on Oahu. So they're asking contractors to extend their lane closure times and allow them to work during peak traffic times. When we give a contractor two additional hours um, to their work schedule per day, it equates to half a day um, time that they save. Paving work and pothole repairs on some of the state roads have been expedited. Uh, we have all of our pothole um, maintenance guys working on the, on the windward side coming up very soon. Uh, we worked out our bridge projects to ensure that we can extend closures throughout at Maipaloa and Farrington Highway on the neighbor islands um, on Kauai and Maui as well. As for city streets, Honolulu Mayor Kirk Codwell says he's pushing repaving projects to get them done quickly. He says in the coming months, residents will see more road work in town. We're putting in another bike lane that's going down Pensacola. That's already started. Um, we're in a repaving ward, which is really, really bad, and putting a bike lane on both sides of the street there, and we're trying to expedite that. The Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation says it intends to make full use of the lighter-than-normal traffic to fast-track work along Dillingham Boulevard. It's one of the most complicated areas along the rail route, with utility lines in existing traffic lanes. Before the pandemic, some businesses were also concerned about lane closures and access. Hart tells us already the Hawaii Department of Transportation has extended the lane closure times for the utility relocation work on Nimitz Highway in the downtown area. Once we start to open up things again, and we will start opening up things in the coming months, and business will start to return, we don't want to impact that business because now we're doing major work. So more done now, the better and much should have been done prior to this. But not all projects have been moving forward. COVID-19 has delayed some elements of work, mostly on the neighbor islands. Some of the contractors are deciding, who are based on Oahu, are deciding not to travel at this time. Uh, they want to make sure that they can minimize any risk to their employees and also uh, minimize any risk of transmission between islands. As the virus changes the way the world functions in the future, the state says it's preparing for more virtual meetings, electronic biddings, and virtual town halls for the public. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.